This video is not for persons under the age of 13. By watching this video, you are declaring that you are above 13 years of age. Welcome back to this third and final part of this painting of the rowing boat on the lake or river or whatever it is. Right, so we've been using this Jackson's Two Rivers paper and these are Jackson's watercolour paints. So what we're going to do in this particular painting or this session is finish off this half of the painting and uh, then unify it all uh, with uh, final tonal values so that's what we'll uh, get on with now and uh, we'll use our trusty big mop brush and what I want to do is start getting uh, bits of detailing in this area uh, first thing I will do is mi get a mixture of uh, a, a brownie purple and some green and uh, maybe make that a little bit darker a bit of blue no, oh, a bit of red I'm trying to get a dark colour here but it don't want to do it There we go. First thing I want to do is is put a dark under shadow there. But I don't want that to be overly dominant. So I'm gonna make sure that's a little bit dried off. And then I'm gonna drop that down a bit. Let that come down a lot. And then just put a line across that just to get rid of that edge. And that I think is done because you've got your you got your dark shaded area, and then on top you've got a little thin line of uh, light. Now just to emphasise that, I'm going to make sure that this part round here above it is fairly dark. If I can get it to do that. let that come up a little bit into there and while I've got that darkish kind of colour I want to re-emphasise that bring that right down there and then let that fade and fade and fade there you go so that's that bit done and we'll continue on in that same vein uh, there are I want to try and make this as, as dry brush as I can possibly make it so it's just just flicking off of the it's almost rippling down and there's little bits of rippliness there as well and on the subject of rippliness A bit of uh, ripple there. I'm going to uh, get a brown and get some of this deep green and make a, a really dark, almost muddy kind of a brown. And we're going to make sure that all that area is done as well which will lay a basis for um, when we put the reflection in there so if we can keep emphasising that like that Get some more dark in Yeah, 
see if I can get a tree in there with a, a, a brownie colour. It seems to be a, a a tree in the reference image. There, I don't see why I can't put one in. And uh, maybe another distant one there. Although I don't want to concentrate on that because we've already done most of the work in there. to do before I go any farther because we've darkened that area I want to get a little bit of light in there there's little bits of branches that uh, in that area that light is still hitting it even though it's a dark area so we can also put that in there as well right now going back to that dark area by uh, using some of that brown again and uh, that green I'm going to get a very strong now let me dry that off a bit and then drag the rest of this right down. Trying to keep it straight if you possibly can. One last little bit to do uh, for that. Is uh, there's some trees around here that are casting a, a reflected shadow, and that just blends into that bit there. I may need to go back over this and uh, darken it slightly. But uh, apart from that, there's little left to do on that. Let's see if I can uh, mix up a, another lot of dark. I'll put some blue in it this time. A bit of brown there. Some more blue. That's better. And just uh, put some of that blue there into the into the upper part, so it's got some some consistency all the way through it. Again, dry it off a bit on your on your rag, and drag down just to little bit of this, a bit more blue there re-emphasize that um, Right, 
so still making sure that we're getting uh, this right It's all very uh, abstract this when you're painting it. Don't think of it as though oh, I'm doing a tree or I'm doing this or I'm doing that object because you'll more than likely not get what you're wanting. See if I can get some final bits around there. And again, it's that pulling down with a dry brush. Let's see if I can do little bits of um, rippliness like that. Which it all seems to be especially around here anyway because the boat is going to create some kind of wake into it in it one or two final bits to do uh, Uh, little bits of detail in the boat because it is a a thing of interest so and it is close up so I, I'm wanting to put tiny little bits of interesting thing on it like for example he's got a a little shirt on that's purple for example uh, Another thing would be this guy here. He's got a coloured thing. He's got a coloured shirt. And just one last thing. You ain't got to overdo it. I'm going to put so far in. I'm going to have a little stripe on the boat. Like that. You're not going to see it all the way because it's going to go into a silhouette. Farer you get away in that sense, but it's just a it's just a speck of colour in it. Now, obviously, uh, where you see that, you're going to get a ripple uh, on the reflection as well. So I will also, when it comes to these people that have coloured in. I'll, I'll put a dab, a very light dab, like that, of colour in there. And also again, same again, a tiny dab, like that. And everything else there is done. The only thing I really want to now do with the painting is uh, let this dry and uh, go over it with a, a deeper darker coat and look to see if there's any other parts of the painting that i can unify one or two more bits to do just just tiny bits really uh, get myself a, a a dark color as dark a color as i can get using a, a combination of browns and blues and dark greens so I'm, I'm happy with that and there are areas in here believe it or not that are even darker than what they are now but they're, they're just 
tiny little bit. Bring that down a bit and let's bring the uh, a bit of uh, that coming down like that. And I will not take it any farther than that, I don't think. Um, like that. Uh, one more thing. I do want to do. I remember earlier on in the process, I, I made that slightly uh, more orangey yellow. Uh, this area needs to be compensated in the same way. So I'm just going to get a, a brush now and uh, get a bit of uh, this uh, yellow here and. Uh, maybe a bit of this orange here uh, make sure this is fairly watered down and just round this area stroke down over it all right now we've got it laid on just want to glaze it out a bit Just, um, just to, just to add a little bit uh, more up here as well. there and we shall get some uh, toilet roll very topical thing at the moment toilet roll and block some of that out see if we can like do it in a way that there you go And that for me is the painting done. So in a, in, in a bit we'll uh, have a look at the photograph of it. So that you, it's pretty much as it is. But um, if you look at a photograph of these things then you can look at the detail. So here is the final photograph. I hope that this shows the image in its best light. It's obviously a, a winter scene and I wanted it to have that kind of atmosphere. And uh, it's also got that contrajour that we mentioned at, at the beginning of uh, everything set to a, a backlight. So what I'm going to do now is leave you with a time-lapse version of the entire painting over a couple of three minutes or so set to some music so i'll see you in our next painting bye for now and keep creative <laughs>